moment yeah good evening everyone uh, now i'd like to welcome the rotarians from the rotary club of cod clang and the rotary club of hornsby district to this uh, first historic meeting zoom meeting uh, that we have been looking forward and uh, first and foremost i would like to thank mm -hmm. the rotary club of cod clang for their generous donation <clears throat> for the drought relief and uh, also for the bushfire disaster victims and that's uh, very very uh, kind of you to have uh, dug into your own pockets and made these funds available and our club is very grateful for that and uh, <clears throat> Our meeting has over the years changed a bit. We do not have Rotary Grace or a salute to the King, uh, Port Clang, uh, a Queen. Uh, Port Clang uh, always does a salute to the King and, uh, and they also have a practice of singing their own club song. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, would, you, would you like to sing this uh, song for a short while for us so that our club members can hear what's it all, what, how do, it sounds like? Yeah. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it haven't been perfect our club song over Zoom yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. The way you always do it. Yeah, we like to hear. Yeah, the way uh, it's very interesting for us. Yeah, you like to start? That's a Dixon. Yes, why not? Uh, One, two, three, you can start. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. We'll start to sing our club song. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. One, two, three, three. Oh, oh Rotary, Rotary Club of Portland, how much we all love you. Oh, Rotary Club of Portland, we are here to serve you. And, you. and to our all our years, years, we know we that, that we are strong. strong. As fellow Rotarians, we have a vow. To serve us selfishly, and always in the smile, united in the cause of Rotary. To serve us selfishly, and always in the smile, united in the cause of Rotary. All right. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Thank you very much. And, uh, and I always That's blame enough. and I always blame on the technology that did not uh, give us a good voice. So next time we'll welcome you to our club <laughs> and sing live to you. That will be uh two hundred percent much better. <laughs> anyway, it's a good try. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to introduce uh, our uh, acting president Bobby Holder. You have seen him. That's Bobby Holder. Good evening. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's, it's really a wonderful uh, opportunity, I think, to finally put some faces to the names and names and faces to the club. Next, I'd like to introduce our secretary, Bill Scott, past president. Thank, Thank you very much for inviting us. Hi. Hi, Bill. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We have our treasurer, Stephen Bruce. I think he's not around. Is he around? Yeah. Not, not really. Yeah, he's, there. he's there. Oh, he's there. Hi, 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 Stephen. hi Stephen. Yeah. Hi, is everybody. Hi. Yeah, he's the one who uh, takes care of our, uh, our funds for distribution. Then we have our club service director, Robert uh, Cordwell, past president. There he is. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Uh, Rotary Club of Port Clang and my own members. Um, I'm the club service director. I look after anything to do with the club members. So nice to be with you tonight. Hi. Hi. Hi there. We then have our international service director, past president Jeff Sell. There he is. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jeff. Great to see you and we'll uh, talk some more. We've got some very, very interesting things we need to talk about. But there's one thing important. Why are all the members of your Rotary Club got black hair when I've got grey hair and a <laughs> when Sivaraj has got black hair? 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm half of actually. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Good. Uh, and then we'll go over to uh, our Youth Service Director, Saha Shiaram. Now, Sahar is not here. The next one that's uh, on the board would be past president, Dennis Hogan, who's the immediate. <laughs> the past president, Dennis Hogan, yes. Oh. Past president, Dennis Hogan, yes. Yes, good, good evening to you all. And I am the person who basically is doing the distribution of funds from your very generous donations for drought relief and fires and the floods haven't come yet. I think they come, that's what they come in that order. I'm not quite sure. But uh, I'll give you a little bit more of a report later on on, uh, on how, how, we, how we're going with that distribution. And thank you once again. Yeah. Good. And uh, as you know, I'm the vocational service director, and <clears throat> you know me <clears throat> for quite some time. Um, anyone else? Uh, I have missed. Good. Uh, President Dixon. Can you introduce your team, please? Yeah, I think we miss out uh, past president Joe Beskin. Joe Bes is on the board. Uh, Joe, uh, oh, oh. Joe is not on the board. Oh. Um, Joe, uh, you're holding a portfolio in foundation? No, um, well, not as far as I know. I don't know. It seems to have been um, sort of pushed on to me, but um, we'll talk about that later. Okay. So I, I've been on the board. <laughs> on and off for about 20 years. So at the moment, I'm having a rest. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, okay. Joe Beskin is the, our oldest uh, Rotarian. <laughs> you won't tell you his age. Yeah, but it's uh, hard for you guys to, to know it. I bet you love that, Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> good. President Dixon, your team, please. Uh, thank you, thank you, Past President Dr. Sivaraj. Uh, so great to see all of you and thank you for that uh, Zoom meeting, the uh, joint meeting. And um, it has been a long history. And um, for the last couple of days, um, I'm so lucky that we still have a chapter member, uh, Past President Lim Chami, to guide me through to talk about the history between both clubs. So I got a few photos from uh, our Past President and chapter member of uh, Lim Chami. So later I'll show to you. Then I realized that right, our history relationship have gone all the way to 2003 and 2004. That's a long way. <laughs> so with that, I would like to introduce uh, our board and the member that attend the meeting. So first we have our vice president, uh, past president, Kwa. Hi, Kwa. Hi. Hello. So, uh, so he had traveled to your club a few times. So I believe many of you know him. Uh, and our secretary, past president, uh, Eric Yap. Hi, guys. Right. Uh, Hi. Hi. He stationed in Perth. Unfortunately, for this year, he been strangled back in Malaysia. So <laughs> we'll be seeing him more often. <laughs> Then we have our treasurer, uh, the always treasurer, past president, uh, Mbunsu. Hi, evening. Nice to meet all of you. Yeah. Uh, and our uh, image director, which is our chapter member, past president, Lim Chami. Yeah, uh, nice, nice to meet all of you. Uh, thank you for the uh, Dr. Sivaraj and the club for all the years of support to the Day Spring and Educare. Uh, great, great stuff. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, also, I have our Sergeant at Arm. Right? And this year, he having a title called Assistant Governor, our past president, Tato Andrew Go. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrew, and uh, happy to see all of you to this uh, Zoom meeting here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And this year, we have our membership director, past president, Johnson Wei, who has successfully recruited and bring in two new young Rotarian. Thank you, president. Hi, Dr. Uh, Sivaraj, and also a member from Hornsby district. Hello. Hello. And Hello. also introduce our youth director. Right? Uh, she looks young. And yeah, in fact, she's young. And because of she's young, I, we prepare her for the next year 
uh, president elect. <laughs> so let's introduce Rotarian Elin Fu. Hi, everyone. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. So these are our Rotarian that attend the meeting. And uh, pass back to you, uh, Pipi Sivaraj. Good. Thank you. Thank you, uh, past president, uh, president uh, Dr. Uh, Dixon. Uh, you also past president, isn't it? You were president last year, last Rotary year. Yes. And yeah, well, yeah. holding right. two positions now. Immediate yeah. past president and president. President, that's right. <laughs> I also like to introduce to you our youth service director, Sahad Zaidi. She's here. Hi, everyone. Uh, nice hi. to meet everyone. Hi. Good. And now I'd like to pass over to past, immediate past president, Dennis Hogan, to say a few words oh. on <clears throat> what was done with your generous donation that you gave uh, uh, in December and also in January this year. Dennis, on to you. Thank you, Sivaraj. Well, where do we where do we where do we start? Um, I suppose the main thing is that uh, once um, once we're finished with all the distributions, that we'll send a full report over to you, and uh, so you know what it's got uh, with some uh, photos and that as well. Mm -hmm. But as you know, the um, the drought came first, and the drought has basically uh, been running. Um, on the east coast of Australia, we ran for about seven years. One of our areas which we support quite extensively is the Tottenham, Tottenham area, and uh, with the local school teacher, the one of the main teachers, um, uh, Lynette, basically used to bring students down to us, and we give them exchange. Uh, um, in the way of learning what they're going to do next year, and vocational guidance and, and so forth. That's been going for about uh, 10, 15 years. So they come down, they learn what the big city's all about, they learn how to get on a train, they learn how to, and they and, and we put them into a vocation for the week. So that's, that's why our connection with, um, uh, with uh, uh, Tottenham. Now, Tottenham... <coughs> In the middle of nowhere, okay. It's about uh, seven hours from uh, from Sydney. Now, um, Lynette, who was our contact out there for many years, she had to leave her occupation and join her husband on the farm to help with the day to day activities whilst they um, try to make ends meet. I suppose the best thing going, even though they've had rain in that this year. And they got their fingers crossed because they'll get a crop for the first time in five years. And uh, and she's been very busy doing that. Now, uh, she knows the people in the area very well. And, uh, and one of the things in Rotary we've always been very strong on is that we would prefer to send the money to, another, to the Rotary Club, but there's no Rotary Club in Tottenham. So we basically rely on uh, Lynette and some of the local people there to help us in the distribution of those funds. Now, that will that is in the process at the moment. They're going through some recipients, even though there are crops this year, there's still a lot of them on um, Welfare Street or try, trying to make ends meet. And that they will receive this year in the forms of... Um, of a, uh, a hamper or something in, in, in along those lines in the areas of need. And that'd be made up of things like uh, grocery items and toiletries and a lot of those type of things, which when they got no money, they're the things they don't spend money on. So uh, they basically, so we hope to roll all that out before, before the end of December. So once we've done that, we will uh, we will basically give a report back from to you. In the meantime, of course, we had bushfires, and as you would uh, basically know, the ba east coast of Australia was basically on fire and uh, huge. And uh, myself and a couple of other Rotarian members have driven to the bushfire areas where the big fires were, and if you can imagine. Um, uh, fire came through at, uh, over 150 foot trees on each side of the highway and they just burned everything out for 
for I would say would be an area an area as big as England. That's how much the bushfires were, um, and a lot of people lost everything. We, in conjunction with the North Richmond uh, North Richmond Rotary Club, basically along with your funds and other funds that uh, we were able to collect, we had uh, we had um, uh, four thousand dollars to roll out as far as that was a concern, and we did it in two ways. Um, the first was basically we did it in conjunction with the North Richmond <coughs> Club and the local. Baptist minister up in, in the in the Currajong area. Um, and basically what they did, they initially uh, gave out uh, out funds for um, uh, let me have a look here for things like wheelbarrows, shovels, rakes, gloves, secateurs, and that so people could rebuild their their gardens and their homes and, and, and so forth. They also this community. They they also had a um, a, a social uh, a social night, of which um, fifty three of the local people attended. Uh, four families that had lost everything. Um, four families that lost their home at Col in one of the areas. Another four families lost every from uh, Barenberg attended as well. So it was a very big night. So they put a, 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 a fun night for them. They provided vegetables and puddings and and all the, all the bits and pieces that, uh, that go to uh, the help in day-to-day -day living. So they also provided some Mother's Day pamper packs for the mothers and, and, and so forth. And, of course, there was heaps of wheelbarrows and gardening tools and all those types of things. So the money got delivered to the people on the ground and uh, and they basically uh, uh, did it. We will send you some details and that we can't, we will give you photos of the fires and so forth, but of the actual, we we got a, uh, an issue here in Australia at the moment that we can't send photos of children and uh, because of the privacy laws we have here at the moment. Uh, so we have to get special permission and so forth to, to, to be able to do that. But we got a, quite a number of other photos and that. We'll put an album together and I forget what you computer people call that, some little stick you can go and poke in and find out what it's all about. I think you're past sticks now, aren't you? You're onto something else. Um, but uh, we'll get that done for you once, once the... Um, the drought one, so we'll combine those two together and send a full report over for you. You got any questions in regard to that? But the money is being well spent. Any? Oh yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the update. That's very good. Yep. Good. Thank you, thank you, uh, Dennis, for your <clears throat> briefing on uh, how the money is spent and, uh, and going to be spent. And I now would like to call upon uh, past president Jeff Sell, who is the coordinator of the COIN program, the collection and also the, the distribution of funds uh, or repatriating of all these coins overseas. It's a program that was started in 1995 and over the 25 years, we have collected something like 800,000 Australian dollars. And uh, I have a great pleasure in calling uh, Pastor and Jeff Sell to give uh, uh, an overview of uh, what he has been doing and what we would like to do. Jeff, you're on now. Thank you, past president, Dr. Sivaraj, my good friend. Um, President Dixon and uh, our acting president, Bobby Holder. Um, I've been a member of the Rotary Club of Hornsby and Hornsby District for quite a number of years. I've been president a couple of times. And for the last 25 years, uh, we had a, a member of our club that was a Qantas uh, flight manager and he decided to start a coin program 
where he collected all the coins on the plane, the Qantas planes, and he would bring them back and he would take them, sort them, and take them back overseas and repatriate. Now, Sivaraj, you were exaggerating. It wasn't 800,000. It was 560,000 bucks that we have repatriated. It is a huge amount of money from old rubbish coins. Now, we, we, we have been affected dramatically uh, by the COVID and no one travelling. We have, in Australia, we have boxes in quite a few outlets, probably 250 outlets, and I'll show you some of these. I'll put them on. That's a, a, We're in the process of changing these boxes, but we will have these in outlets of uh, banks. We will have them in pharmacies. We'll have them in uh, uh, travel agents, and we get all this coin in. We have coins like a 2000, uh, sorry, a 1805 guinea, George III guinea. We have sovereigns put in there. We have special coins put in there. And we take that, sort them, and we send them away to be repatriated. And it's been a, 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 it's, it's a program that will develop and develop and develop and this money will go into international projects. The main focus we have had in the past has been malaria and research for malaria with these coins. And we've given to the university in Queensland uh, 25,000 in the last few years for research on malaria. But there's, there's other diseases that 500, four to 500,000 children die every year of malaria. And we are not doing enough to save those children. And I think what we're doing is the start of something very, very big. In addition to that, we have other diseases like there are so many weird and wonderful bugs out there. And Sivaraj, you are privy to some of those in Malaysia. Malaysia. Dengue, fever. dengue fever is another one, and it's, a, it's one that we could be involved with and raising money to find a vaccine and help people there. I would like to see our clubs between uh, Hornsby and Port Klang being involved with a Rotary International Foundation grant to do something. I'm not the right person to uh, push the, uh, the, the barriers of how it's being done or how it should be done, but I think we should be able to gain some money from Rotary uh, International and, and the Foundation to um, continue the work here. Malaria is the next polio, the next big polio, and, it, and attached to that is dengue fever. So we have, as I said, we've, we've, we've got these boxes. We've got all these people around Australia collecting coin. We're sorting them. We're repatriating them. Uh, at the moment, we can't take all the, what we call our junk coin over. And I'd probably have, oh, there'd be 500 kilos of material that can go overseas. At the moment, we can't do it. Uh, just recently, we sent... Uh, 35 kilos of New Zealand money over, which was easy to repatriate. I'd love to send 100 kilos of ringgits, old Malaysian money, uh, Malaysian notes, uh, Thai notes, Singapore notes, and get them over to um, Malaysia and where we can repatriate them and do something with them. It's a great program. It's too big for our one club. Um, and I would like to share that with everyone. I would, um, I have, there was a Rotary Down Under uh, project um, uh, release just recently. And if I can get, uh, Sivaraj, if I can get a uh, email address, I'll send the, uh, the thing out of Rotary Down Under from our Rotary Club. Thank you very much. And, and, and thank you, um, 
uh, Dixon, for um, having us on tonight. It's been, uh, it's very special. It's a first in 42 years for me, and uh, I wish you well, and thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff. <clears throat> that was very kind and uh, good of you to have given an insight uh, of the entire program in such a, a, a short time. I would now like to call upon uh, President Dr. Dixon Lai to uh, introduce to us some of uh, their work which they are doing there for the community. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, Vice President Dr. Sivaj. Hi. Uh, probably I'll share you my screen. Uh, I might need you to allow me to share screen. So I prepare some photos. So, okay. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. So, good evening. Uh, I think President Dennis Hogan. Okay, uh, mm. Vice President Bobby Huda and uh, directors of uh, Rotary Cows Hornsby District. So thank you for having us for this uh, joint meeting. So I would like to give you a brief overview. What are the projects that we have completed and updates on the, the projects that uh, your Kai generals that help us. Okay. So a quick overview of Falkland, although um, you have gone through a long history. <laughs> so three things we'd like to uh, tell you about Falkland. First is we do have a club song. So the version that you heard just now is not the real version because over the Zoom, we always say that uh, we never sing it nicely. We have been practicing for the last six months. No way we can get it perfect. <laughs> so we have the actual version when you are here. <laughs> Uh, when we meet face to face. <laughs> Second thing about Talk Lang is I would like to introduce our chapter member. Without him, we will, a lottery card Talk Lang right, will not have a, such a long journey. So, so the man behind lottery card Talk Lang, our past president, Lim Chami. Right? I, I love these uh, photos because it's very difficult for our past president, Lim Chami to wear a Rotary t-shirt. So I cherish this photo. <laughs> then in terms of uh, overview of Pokland, we have near Pokland, we have an island called Pulau Ketam, which is Ketam Island, and it's good for seafood. So I hope this island will be able to attract you when COVID pandemic is over, attract you to come to uh, Rotary Car of Pokland and have more fellowship together. Okay. So I, I, I'm, first of all, thank you very much for your continuous support to us, uh, Rotary Car Park Lang, and uh, being uh, president and also the immediate past president. Um, I have a lot of great stories uh, heard from our uh, past president. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I only captured a few uh, screen, which is one of them is um, uh, 2012. That is when uh, Dr. past president, Dr. Sivaraj, right? and our past president, Mr. Uh, Thibaut Swan. Right? We have a sister club agreement. Then the, after that, we do have in 2016. Right? So by now, we should have... Uh, renew our sister club agreement in 2019 and all blame to the pandemic. That's why we could not have that uh, signing agreement. And I, we do not know how long this pandemic is going to last. That's why I will pass on the patent to our president-elect, Rotarian Aileen Fu, right, and inform her that in case I've forgotten or the situation don't allow, please make sure renew the sister club agreement. <laughs> so we would like to have this journey much walk further. And I've captured this 2014 where uh, a few of our Rotarian and past president went over to uh, Australia. And I'm looking forward to go to your club personally, all because of pandemic, I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> so 
near future, I will come to the club. So just to give you a few overview of uh, what are the projects for last year and uh, the ongoing projects that we have. And Day Spring, I got to really uh, acknowledge your club and uh, all the past president, especially past president Dr. Sivaraj, whenever he is back to Malaysia, he will definitely pay a visit to Day Spring. And you notice most of the photo, we have him in the photo. <laughs> and this year, and thank you very much for the continuous support for the last at least four years that I know of, because I joined a Rotary Club for the last, uh, this is my fifth year. Yet, I realized that every year, right, Rotary Club of uh, Hornsby District have been supporting uh, Day Spring. And thank you very much. And all thanks to our past president, Lim Chami, who continues that project. So, past president Lim Chami, would like to share anything regarding this project? Tell me. He's been muted. He's probably muted. Right. Yeah, everybody's okay. muted, but has the ability to unmute themselves. Yep. Yeah, I think past president Lim Chami is still. Uh, yeah, anything to share, uh, past president Lim Chami? Uh, or you got to unmute yourself? Uh, yeah, president. Uh, uh, doctors, this uh, wish to of course thank thank to uh, president. Uh, this uh, past president, Doctor Sivraj for his uh, undying uh, effort, enthusiasm to support us uh, <laughs> in this spring. And uh, for all these years, I think it's uh, about 10 years, I think, since he come back yearly. And uh, every year he comes back with the money and uh, support these children. So I'm quite sure the, the club, the, the society is very grateful to the Rotary Club Honsby and now Honsby District and also, of course, to Dr. Sivraj. And uh, every time he comes back, I think we all have great fun together. Uh, you, you should know that uh, Dr. Sivraj is used to be our club member the year when I was president. That is in 92, 93. He joined us and subsequently he migrated to Australia. And since then, he comes back every year and uh, he's been supporting this spring for a long, long time. Uh, he is a good friend of mine. He's, a, he's been my classmate uh, in, in the ACS for many, many years. So we have gone through a long way and um, I'm glad that uh, Rotary actually bond us together uh, in spite of the fact that uh, he has gone over back, uh, gone to Australia. Uh, this is one thing good about Rotary. He did, uh, you can, you, it's actually friendship all over the place, all over the world. And uh, we are very grateful to Dr. Sivraj for putting our clubs two together and also invited us uh, in 2014 to, to the club for a grand super, super get together together with the American Rotarians during the, um, the uh, uh, Sydney, Sydney, Sydney uh, Rotary International Conference. So I think uh, Rotary, that's what Rotary is all about. Friendship. Uh, everlasting. Thank you very much, Dr. Sivraj and uh, Rotary Club Hansby uh, District, now District. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Pastor Lin Chami. Hi. Uh, so, next project, I would like to personally thank for your kind uh, support towards our school project, which is the face shield that you can see here. And I captured this picture from your bulletin. Uh, so, thank you a lot for featuring us there. Right. Just to give you a few updates on the facial project. As of today, um, we have delivered 6,920 um, facial and to 19 schools together with other two more Rotary clubs. And because of the current situation is Mal some states in Malaysia have been locked down, not fully locked down, yet um, they stopped the school. So that 
that's the reason we cannot continue with the projects. Yet the 8,000 units is ready to deliver for another 10 more schools. All right. So hopefully by middle of December or next year, January, when this pandemic is over, and I believe that uh, the school will still require that face shield compared to the face mask. So the reason we started with this face shield because our country has imposed that every student and teacher required to wear a face mask. Yet we realized that if we wear a face mask, teacher might suffocate. <laughs> and teacher is the most important person in the school. <laughs> That's where we have this idea to uh, to provide this face shield. And we do not want it to, to purchase from the market. Right. So what happened is that we bought the material, raw material, right? and we sent the raw material to single moms and underprivileged families right? so they can make that face shield and we pay for their labor. Right. So this project, in fact, we are impacting two areas. One is community service to the no, three area. One is community service. Second is the uh, vocation, youth services, which is vocation, that is to the school. Right? Right? And third is to give back to the uh, mothers to create an income for them. All right? So this is, so I've captured a few of the picture over here. Right? There are more, there's a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put into the share drive and send you the link. Right? And we have fun uh, throughout the distribution. We are traveling everywhere. Um, and one of the, our service director here, PP Wesley, is not in, right? Yet we have our past president, uh, Bala, who is here. Right, to help us deliver some of the face shield. Would like to share anything, uh, past president Bala? Your feeling and yeah. yes, president. Yeah, it is uh, really very uh, not only really enjoyable, but it's a very good uh, service uh, that we have been doing, and uh, it's nice to see. Uh, or how the schools all appreciate uh, what we are doing for them, uh, especially the teachers, the staff of the school, and also the kids. Okay, it is uh, one of the services which we are doing on our part from Rockfish Angle for the community under very tiring circumstances under COVID 19. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, so over here, you notice that this is the process, the single moms and the underprivileged, uh, uh, the way they do the face shield, right? And um, for your info, the last batch that with your uh, generous donation, we have identified a single mom who has in the midst of uh, doing chemotherapy. She had a breast cancer and she could not, she is finding ways to find an income. Right, during this pandemic lockdown. So so happened that we found her and she get an income, right? Income while doing the facial for us. So in fact, we are helping one of the cancer patients throughout this process. Right. So thank you very much for the, the support from your club. Right. Then we'd like to update you another very interesting project we had for this year which is called Badminton. The name comes from Badminton, not the Badminton, not the bait, doing something on the bait. <laughs> so we call it Badminton. Because the uh, interesting of this project is uh, we'll, we'll bring in new baits, we'll install the baits, right? and then the baits will go to the patient, the patient whereby they could not afford to recover in the hospital so that they'll go back home and when they went back home, they could not afford to buy a proper bed. So it will, right, it will have difficulty for them to recover fast. That's where we will send the bed to them. Hopefully, they have a proper medical bed that can recover much faster throughout their, uh, the period. Then once they recover, then we will bring back the bed 
refurbish it and send it out to, to our others uh, patient who need it. And even some patient, uh, uh, they know that they're almost in the last uh, mile so that we want them to have a more comfortable uh, journey before they move on. Right. And very interesting, every month, approximately 10 to 20 pages are being sent out right, to the to people that need it. And every month, we have almost 10 pages coming in to refurbish. And every month, we will require additional about 10 new pages. Right. So when we started this project, and this is a money project, Second week of Sunday, we will get together and go to this place, place called Charity Food Basket and start to install pits. Right? And you notice our first three veteran, which is the senior Rotarian, right? uh, which is our vice president and uh, our senior uh, past president, Dr. Andrew Go. Right? They started this. Right? And with, not that uh, they're still young, just that physically they have some, uh, they need some, uh, what they call exercise. Yet they are able to go there and install four beds. Amazing, right? I would like to pass the floor to our vice president, Pipi Kwa, to tell you the experience when he had, right, installing the first bed. Uh, thank you, the president. Uh, these beds are actually uh, like a medical bed in the hospital and they can decline, they can uh, put back. And this is so for the patient who are disabled or they have a problem, like can, uh, cancer patients or those patients are disabled, cannot move properly. So what we, what we do, uh, we do, we go with, along with a charity organization called the uh, Food Basket where this, this particular organization, they bring in beds from uh, China. And th these are in badges. And when they bring in, we, they need financial to support all these uh, this, this purchases. And uh, what we do, we will pay to, uh, every, every now and then to this particular organization. This bed will be assembled by us, all right, for, for these people who need it most. And this bed, after they use, if something if they recovered, you will come back to the center. This center will collect back and re, uh, how, make over again, refurbish it for the next patient or next person who need it. And it's like badminton who come and go, come and go, you know. And uh, it is a very, uh, how do you say, uh, a, a project which we feel like giving to people who are needy very more and, and, and make us very, very happy because they are the time that they need most, we can provide something for them, right? So that's called badminton, you know, special uh, coin work. Uh, thank you. Back to you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, because of the our first three uh, senior Rotarians have started it, that's where I got to gather all the younger Rotarians. <laughs> I start to go there every month just to install more beds. So, you notice the next few picture. Right. There are more younger Rotarian around. Right. Yet, we have a very senior supervisor, which is called Tato Andrew. <laughs> he will be there almost every month. Right. Yet, his role is to supervise the quality of the installation. Right. You like to say anything, Tato Andrew? <laughs> okay, thank you, President. Uh, of course, this is a very meaningful project. Uh, no one has the knowledge of assembling a hospital bed. It was really a challenge. We started with a six, uh, seven Rotarian. Uh, took us about nearly two hours to assemble nearly two beds only. Then, as when we learned from mistake, we managed to get more Rotarians to come in. And on that day, we managed to get about eight Rotarians. After the uh, second and third trial, we managed to assemble 10 beds in between about three to four hours. That was a very good uh, achievement. And everyone, no doubt, everyone is very exhausted, but they are all very, very happy after assembling the beds. And also another uh, interesting thing is that uh, the newer Rotarians or the ladies of Rotarians we were amused and surprised. The ladies are good in 
in uh, assembling the bait too, you know. We, we gave them all the bolts and nut, and we thought that, wow, they, they, they don't know how to use the spanners. But to our surprise, they did very well. They did very, very well. So uh, again, as I say, it was a very interesting uh, uh, project uh, that our club has done, and uh, we will keep on doing this. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, in fact, I have another new project that in mind. This year, we have started with the bait binden to, to install and fix a medical bait. I am thinking out of mind that probably next year or the upcoming year, we should install or fix an ambulance. <laughs> that is much bigger. <laughs> yeah, just, just something. Uh, <laughs> Giving a thought. <laughs> then we have another very nice project together with Charity Food Basket, which every month they will, they will prepare foods and uh, grocery for the underprivileged family, which they could not afford uh, to buy grocery for the family. So they will come to this center and collect food. Yet we noticed that some families, because of their challenges, disabled, they just could not travel to collect the food or grocery. So what we do is we select a few of them and we deliver to their doorstep. All right. And this project has been going on for the last uh, uh, couple of, every month, first week of the Sunday. Right? We will send it out and uh, deliver to them. And one of the Rotarian who, is, who she is um, super busy with this is Rotarian Eva. She loves this and she participates almost every uh, session and deliver. Rotarian Yiva, are you there? Uh, yes, you would like to share something? Yiva Ku, is she here? No. Oh, she's there. She's there? Yeah, she needs to unmute herself. Okay, unmute already. Good. Yes. Uh, yes, we all can hear you. Would like to share something regarding this project? Hey, because uh, she uh, is helping you know, those people which they cannot come over. So I'm very happy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, go together with uh, this Rashley. Sometimes you also participate, but because uh, due to COVID-19, they are staying very far. So... Most of the time, myself and Wesley, we are staying nearby, so we go and deliver the food to this family. Eva, uh, maybe you can say something about where the food is coming from. It's coming from the Buddhist monks, isn't it, who get them all free, donated, and you are collecting from them and then giving to these families identified as the very poor ones. Okay, the actually it comes from charity basket. So we just help them because then they are unable to travel or they are very poor, they don't have transport. So we have to deliver to the family. And it's one month once. So far we have uh, delivered to three families. This is what we can do. Lah. Mm. Thank you. Nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Rotir and Eva. <laughs> Very meaningful. And uh, when we deliver to them, you can see you can see and feel the smile of the people there. So uh, it's quite pleasant and nice. All right. All right. Then before the pandemic, COVID-19, we actually have a projects uh, which refurbished the entire uh, library for primary school. Right. So this is before, and we got this uh, district grant to do it. Right. Uh, then after that, we refurbish. Right. We fix the uh, tables and chairs to be a, a more pleasant place for the children to go and uh, pick up a books and read. Right. So this project was completed uh, right after the lockdown. And before the second lockdown. So during this period, nobody utilized it because of the pandemic. In fact, our next thought of this project is to bring in more books, primary school books, 
from Australia or New Zealand, even with your club support, right? To, to give them more proper books to read. So the first stage, in fact, is just to refurbish the, the library, right? And uh, while I was writing this uh, district grant application, one of the person that actually mentored me is our PP Eric, which is our secretary. Without him, I will not be able, will not be able to get the grant. PP Eric, would you like to share anything your thought about this project? Yeah, uh, thank you, President. This uh, primary school is quite far from uh, where we are. It's uh, in an old, deserted, I think, uh, coal mining town. All right, this, uh, this Chapkwan school is in Batu Arang, which is a coal mining uh, town. All the youngsters have so-called migrated to the cities to look for work. So when you visit the schools uh, and the town, you only see either the oldies or the old people and the youngsters, meaning youngsters are all the primary school going children. All the able-bodied uh, people are all in the cities working. So mainly, the, if, if you look at the before picture, the photos, the library was in quite a deplorable state. Uh, we did a project there, a medical outreach project, uh, eye screening for the school students there, uh, a joint project with RC Klana Jaya, and the teachers approached us, see what can we do to make the library uh, more inviting for the students so that we can inculcate uh, reading habits to the young students over there. And with the district grant opening at the same time, uh, we managed to sit down, write up the report, submit to district, and we were also surprised that the district find this a meaningful project and granted us the grant of uh, Ringgit Malaysia 6,000 for us to do it. And we are happy to announce that we managed to complete the project in a timely manner. Unfortunately, now we are looking for books appropriate books to be uh, to be given to the students over there. That's it. Thank you, President. Right. Thank you, Vivian Rick. <laughs> so uh, probably next year, uh, the books, I will pass it on to the next president uh, to look into it. Uh, COVID-19, that was during the lockdown. So we had this, the government announced the lockdown and uh, during that that was the time when our club secretariat start to struggle to go into Zoom meeting. <laughs> Yet it was the most fun time. Right? And the best thing is um, during that period, everyone just tried to get into Zoom. We are struggling. Yet the good news is within three days, we are able to mobilize right, some of the grocery and uh, sanitizer basic needs required for the uh, frontliners. Because we know that when the government suddenly announced lockdown, there will be a big mess, especially to the frontliners. Right? So within three weeks, we gather together and uh, uh, make it happen. So um, one of the person that have actually very hard work during this part is our past president Johnson. He, he actually take all the effort right, to go out. Although COVID is so new, yet he go all out right, and prepare the food right, and pass it on to a Rotarian and each Rotarian will ship it to the different hospital. So we'd like to share anything, past president uh, Johnson. Thank, thank you, president. Uh, yeah, President just mentioned about when the lockdown, during the lockdown, uh, we understand that the, the frontliner basically require a lot of help. And very quickly, very quickly, we have a few Rotarian uh, start sort for the food. Especially, uh, we know that uh, from the hospital, actually, they need green apples, uh, the fruit green apples, and we also give them uh, uh, red apple as well. And some of the uh, 
food product as well as sanitizer. And also, also thank God, during that time, not many people are, uh, are brave enough <laughs> to go to hospital to get contact uh, with the foreign liner, especially to hand over uh, the boxes of the, uh, the fruit as well as sanitizer. And thanks to uh, PP, uh, PP Kua especially, and uh, those are not able to attend our meeting today, including past president uh, Michael Chia, uh, Rotarian, which are helping in sourcing this uh, uh, fruit as well, uh, also including past president Eric Yap, PP Lian, also not able to attend our meeting today, also grateful to help uh, this project. Uh, thank you, uh, President Dixon, for coordinating on the whole thing. And uh, yeah, I, I was there to help up uh, uh, together with them to ensure all, uh, all, all are required uh, items to be put into the, uh, the right car to go for the right destination. And I think uh, this is, this is a, a feeling, a, a, great, a great feeling whereby we are able to, to supply the necessity to the frontliner. Thank you, President. Yeah, thank you, Phoebe Johnson. <laughs> so that was, that's how we uh, survived through the lockdown. <laughs> so finally, uh, this is the response to, to Australia. Right? In fact, um, I would like to acknowledge two key persons. One is our PP Lin Chami. Right? Uh, he actually stand forward and uh, highlight to me and uh, the clubs and he bring this project up. Uh, yet, I would like to also acknowledge a very important person. That person is the one who transferred the cash to Australia, right? which is our treasurer, Bibi Mbunsu. Right? Would like to say something, Bibi Mbunsu. Thank you, President. No, I think uh, because of the close relationship with uh, the three town of hospital district, it's uh, deeply great pressure actually in making sure that whatever funds that the club has agreed to donate for the famine and the flood victim is sent across in an exp expeditious manner you know, or in a timely manner so that it can be used to aid the less fortunate. Thank you, President. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So when I was doing this slide, one of the things that attract me is this part. Right. which is uh, mental well-being, yeah, anxiety and behavior. Right. So it strikes me because at this moment during this lockdown, in fact, mental health is one of the biggest challenge. Right. Because of this uh, particular message, we, I keep uh, telling our president-elect, you got to do something with mental health right, next year because um, when we release, because during this period, a lot of people are unemployed, right? Especially for the middle class and even to the to the villagers. So we got to do something with that, right? And uh, that's my update for the project. So there's a, quite a few projects that I could not carry on because of this pandemic. Yet I would like to introduce you to our president elect, Rotarian Aileen, to continue the series of projects. And I keep on reminding her, please do pay a visit to uh, Rotary Club of uh, Consby and welcome them to Auckland again. Right. Uh, let's have a few words from you, Rotarian Aileen. Thank you, President Dixon. Uh, yeah, visiting is always the fun thing that in our club we would like to do. So we we'll definitely look forward for the visit and vice versa. Um, what else to say? So for next or upcoming Rotary year, yes, there's a lot of uh, fun projects in my mind now. So which is, uh, I will look forward that probably I might able to get some ideas from uh, Rotary Club or Hornsby district as well. So probably, uh, yeah, we can chat more about it. So thank you, President, for that. <laughs> thank you, Rotary Eli. By the way, Rotary Eli is a Malaysian Chinese, right? So uh, I guess most of you that 
you realize that when it's a Chinese, their hair will be black color. Yet she purposely dye it to gold color, right? Because um, she want to blend between the seniors and the new Rotarian. So that is the first step she has taken to, to create, to foster the better relationship. <laughs> and with that, uh, thank you very much for your support. And uh, pass back to you, uh, PP Sivaraj. Thank you, uh, President Dixon Lai. That was an excellent presentation. It's so amazing to see how much you have uh, achieved during this lockdown period and how much you have contributed to the community. And uh, it gives us uh, great insight as to what you have been doing and how we can continue helping you in future. And, uh, and now I think the time is nine o'clock sharp, exactly one hour. That means that we ought to have another meeting and we can tell you all what we do.